There you yes. go. You can tell who and now I can go before the kitchen <laughs> versus who is. I need all the direction in the world. I'm a terrible. Even for I'm as a, simple a, as I, I toss this. I'm like, a terrible <laughs> date. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> episode number nine of the secret ingredients of real estate and today we have a special guest and her name is jordan lee Hi. we get all the waves fans and everything okay so jordan lee you're here from uh vine group i'm a mortgage broker i thought you were from oh. newmarket well i'm from newmarket <laughs> from the gta i'm from everywhere <laughs> from okay. here awesome and then we have the lovely Dimitra Mirez, as always our head chef yes at the secret ingredients of real estate and Dimitra. Tell us yes. what you're cooking today. Today we're doing um, a pico de cayo, okay. right? Which is a mixture of all kinds of fresh ingredients. Yes, uh, avocado, tomatoes. Usually tomato is the base, but then you can add whatever you want. Yeah. So, and instead of salsa, we'll use it as a um, salad. Mm -hmm. So we're having um, over there that's still marinating, right? It is. That's okay. They'll do its okay. stuff, yes. right? That, that, they'll do its yeah, thing. Yeah, we got the barbecue itself. on. We got we this on. We have the barbecue yeah. and we uh, flag steak, which has been marinated in lime juice with um, cloves of gar garlic, cilantro, um, ginger, you name it. And I tell you, it's going to be amazing. And in addition, if you have anybody in your household that is vegan or vegetarian, we're doing this absolutely massive um, you know, portobello steaks, okay? A I'm so excited. I've never had a real portobello steak. Not really? that I've had a fake one, but I just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this will be absolutely gorgeous, and you just fill it in with your uh, pico, de sa and oh. just slice it up, and it's going to be yummy. It's so, delicious. Yes, awesome. delicious olive oil. Obviously, uh, it's always, you can use avocado oil. Uh, I'm a little biased when it comes to olive oil, but yes, <laughs> you know, for you obvious are. reasons. We're supposed to get a lesson on olive oil and, yes. and the real Greeks. I mean, the Greeks, the real Greeks the are real. real Greeks. But yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> but we're going to talk about, I mean, we're going to have a lesson on, on actual olive oil. We're going to have it at yeah. harvest time, which yeah. is between October and December. Yeah. Uh, this coming year, so I will definitely be happy to educate all of you. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So, in olive oil, okay? So we'll talk about real estate. So Jordan yes. is yes. here to educate us on the mortgage market, what's going on, what's happened. So, I don't know, Dimitri, do you have any questions for, for Jordan off the top of your head? Um, I just, I mean, everybody's concerned about the interest rate going up, right? Yeah. And it, we had a little bit of, uh, you know, upheaval the last, uh, you know, few uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. What's happening? What's the, you know, like, what's going to happen in the next six months to yeah. a year, right? So, yeah, that's definitely the big question on everyone's mind. Yes, and for sure. The answer I give everyone and the answer everyone should be given is that we don't know. That okay. is, sounds like a cop out answer, but it's the truth. <laughs> Anyone who tells you they can project and tell you what's going to happen in the next 12 months is just is just lying to you. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, we, can, we can try to gauge based on what economists are saying and, and kind of where the projections are at, but so much can shift. And the best example of that is, you remember when Silicon Valley Bank closure happened and yes. that really shifted the market? So before Silicon Valley Bank's closure, we actually were projecting interest rates to drop about one to one and a half percent okay. in 2024. Okay. And then after that closure happened, then the projections were that we could actually see de uh, decreases as soon as 2023. So the point being is like overnight things can shift drastically. Okay. So the market is so volatile that we, we can't exactly predict. I would say though, um, with inflation slightly increasing last okay. week, that really pushed headlines uh, to kind of strike a lot of fear. Okay. <laughs> and they're saying that uh, we could see another quarter point increase on interest rates this That's year. That's insane. Interesting. We can't oh afford God. that. <laughs> what is your advice then to those who are in variable mortgages who got their variables last year this time, right? Mm -hmm. And so should they go into a fix? Should they weigh it out? What's, what's the honest advice? The honest advice is what I'm doing. So I always yeah. tell my clients the same thing. I am in this position. I, okay. you know, so right. they, they yeah. trust that I'm doing yeah. the same thing is at this point, if you've made it this far, you just hold out at this right. point. But how okay. long? We hope just for the next 12 months. Oh my that God. That is the projection. Early that is 2024 nightmare. is when we should see interest rates decrease yeah. by. And, and are you seeing any families like really suffering from the overpayments? Uh, unfortunately, yes, there are, are uh, 
families and clients who are starting to not necessarily be able to afford their mortgages. Right. Um, there are solutions to that and it's coming back now that the market has bounced back. Last year when interest rates were increasing, we actually didn't have an opportunity to um, to really do much in uh, mortgage uh, financing to help them. Yeah. But now that property values are back up and things are turning in the housing market, we can... Um, are you deciding whether you want to turn the faucet on or not? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to mess up the noise. But I'm gonna Why don't you just turn the faucet on? We'll see. Maybe we'll, you know, we can work on the noise. It's pretty quiet. It's a, it's the quiet. good thing is this is an amateur you know, show and we've got... <laughs> we can make the mistakes. <laughs> Hollywood edits? Yes. <laughs> okay, love it. Um, uh, sorry, what was I saying? Thank you. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, okay. we have solutions. We have solutions. Yeah. So we can um, we can refinance clients into lines of credit yeah. uh, where you're making interest only payments. So that helps with payments and cash flow a lot for clients. The interest rate is not going to be favorable, yeah. but interest only. So you're not being forced to pay principal and interest. Right. And then we can also even go to an alternative lender and do 35 year amortization. So what's the best rate right now in the market for a fixed year? That's right. Sorry. Best rate is a tricky question because the best rate is going to be on a five-year fix. Okay. But I would never, ever advise a client to take a five-year fix in this interest rate environment. Right. Because that's what we've been telling our clients yeah. that they bought this spring, a summer, yeah. like from January to now. Yeah. Um, we always say, you know, if you're going to go a fixed rate, just go three ma three years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then, maximum. yeah, maximum three years. And we have been able to secure some really good mortgages for some of our clients, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is amazing. So we're just going to hold up that. Yeah. So, yeah, you hit the nail on. Perfect. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Um, I don't know what to do here. I'm not a cook. I was, I was just chopping up avocados. That's okay. what I was told to do. So that's what I'm doing. She yeah. said you can never have too much avocado. So okay. I'm going to buy that. We're awesome. Um, but what I was saying is that um, remember how I mentioned inflation, yes. the announcement went up. Right. Um, so interest rates never actually decrease. We okay. were starting to see three years under 5%. Okay. We're getting those on promo, like 4.99. A lot of oh, banks were doing that. That's not on bad. The three on the three years. Yeah, it's a great rate relative yeah. to what we're seeing. Right. Um, but okay. that, so they never actually repriced. Like posted okay. rates never repriced, but they were making huge exceptions on yes. interest rates. And um, now that bond yields, oh, well, inflation has gone up, bond right. yields skyrocketed upwards as well and that means that fixed terms have also seen an upward okay hit. so let's talk about the math for a second sure so <laughs> let's do that you got a, a variable 2.2 last year okay now it's at 5.75 Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and then you're getting a fixed rate at 4.99. So doesn't that mean your rate is? I mean, your amount will be less. Your mortgage payment would yeah. be less if you locked in at 4.99. Yeah, if you locked in, we're not seeing as deep on discounts on the interest rates anymore. Okay. Okay. So we're actually back to just above five percent, even on the three-year. Right. So lowest we're actually seeing right now is around f like five to okay. five point two. That's the range wow. right now. Wow. So actually, as we get closer to the end of 2023, though, okay. I am recommending the two-year over the three-year. Because I okay, would so what's the two year right now? Two years higher, and that's why most clients don't take it. Yeah, it's gonna be somewhere around Ooh. like 5.7. How do you just come up with these ideas? Oh, it's just it's all up here, like <clears throat> really. It's just you tell me cook, and I'm like, boom. <laughs> there you it's go. It's like they tell me find me a home, and it's like find me a home. <laughs> <laughs> boom. What are we doing here? Are we doing anything? She wants to pray over the avocado, um, you want us to watch the water boil. <laughs> Just watch the water boil for now. Okay. Um, this is practically ready. Just toss it a little bit. Maybe you do a little bit of uh, crushed pepper and okay. uh, some salt. Okay. Right? And, et voila, it's that's done. There you yes. go. You yeah. can tell who and now I can go before in the kitchen <laughs> versus who is. I need all the direction in the world. I'm a terrible date. Even for as simple a, as I, I toss this. I'm like, a terrible <laughs> date. What can I tell you? <laughs> On the fire yes, 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 you better get back over there. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, we'll get Dimitri to do something over there. Okay, so, uh, yes, all right, so I, we, so interest rates, mortgages. Yes, no, so I was on the two years. So the two years around 5.7 to 5.8, okay. and your three years is going to be closer to 5.1 to 5.2, so pretty large spread. But what I always show clients is that if you look at the payment, depending right. on the mortgage size, okay. that interest rate, like people are so fixated on interest rate, they yeah. need to be fixated on the payment. Okay. The payment is not going to be that different okay. by 0 0.40 of an interest rate uh, increase, uh, like difference, yeah. right, on yeah. the two year. And why you would take the two year is because with any fixed term, you'll always get the option to early renew okay. six months prior to your maturity date. Oh. So that two year rate is really 18 months to two years. Okay. So it gives you the room to kind of time the market right. when interest rates should drop early 2024, right? Yeah. So then you'll renew. We're already mid 2023 at this okay. point. So once you renew, you'll be renewing into a lower interest lower rate environment. Interest rate. 
Taking a three year with an upfront lower interest rate, that's great for right now. Okay. But then you're waiting a whole extra year to be able to access those lower interest rates. I always tell my clients, and it's the same thing really for realtors, it's yeah. like it comes down to patience and persistence. Okay. I really think that's like the name of the game when it comes to real estate yeah. Yeah. because it's the biggest purchase that you're going to make, most people make in yeah. their lives. You don't want to rush into it, so but we, it could take a long time. So we never understand from a, a real estate agent's perspective because we do the showings. You know, we do the listings, we sell the property, we're involved in negotiating, but we're never on the finance side. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, what, what are the questions you get asked by home buyers who are, or, or people who are renewing? What are their concerns like? What are they talking about mm -hmm. in, in their mortgage process? Yeah, I, I pretty much the same thing that even you guys as realtors, when are interest rates going to decrease? Yeah. What are they going to decrease right. to? When is the right time to buy? The same question you guys get. Yes. They always want us to time the market, yeah. which we can't do. No, just time, like you said, you can't time the market. You can't watch the market every single week or month, right? Yeah, but then there's how Sigma the for that, and it just becomes like this. How Sigma is such a problem yeah. for the real estate, like for real estate yeah. agents, because it, it it gives clients this false belief that they can do it without a realtor. And isn't it your favorite when they tell you what the estimated value is on a property? They're like, no, no, I saw on how Sigma it's only supposed to go for eight hundred thousand. So right, right. That's that's what we're going to offer. And it's like, <laughs> I think you should trust me. Over yes, that. Yeah, <laughs> because we've been following the market week after week, yeah. day after day, right? Like it's something that we do on a daily basis. Yeah. And then you look at, um, you know, the properties that the uh, seller is trying to sell himself. And actually, oh, I yeah. ran into one today that's been on the market for 311 days. Oh, so wow. Well, Come why would we need a realtor? We only sell them in like two weeks. So ah. the offer that they had um, they had put in, it was it had a lot of traction. Mm -hmm. So open yes. house, so yeah. many you know business cards. It yes. shows yes. beautifully. Yeah. And come offer night, they obviously yes. had an offer night. They wanted right. a bit more. They were the only offer. My clients right. were the only offer. Right. And yet the sellers still said, no, that's not the number we want. And it's like, but... Sign it, me back. But it, sign me back. They didn't even sign back. They're like, no. They just yeah. said no. Yeah. And it's like, people also, I, I, I think, need to understand that your property is worth what it will sell for right and that's in and the trends are ever changing right now there is no trend yeah. actually yeah. i'd say week by week you're just kind yeah. of it's it goes uh, as it comes along right but yeah. we had a situation where we thought oh guess what we don't want to wait for offer night we don't want to compete yeah. with 10 15 20 because the two days before that you know particular instance we were in competition for 20 you know, with 20 offers. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we present an offer, which I thought it was solid offer, um, you know, just, and I said, like, sign me back, right? Like, let the seller yeah. give us a number, right? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not going to do anything. We're going to wait. And I'm like, okay, fine. Our client moved on, bought another property yeah. on offer night. Yeah. Uh, they called me and they called me again. And I'm like, <laughs> they had no offers. Yep. And the property is still on the market. Yeah, wow, this is this is crazy. the same thing with yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, we're, we were just going over the financing, yeah. secured the financing. So we're going over, and I asked them, like, yeah. so what ended up proper, uh, yeah. happening? Did they come back to right. market? Yeah. They're like they did, but it's just listed there. Yeah. Yeah. Like like uh, it's crazy to me. So let's talk more about that and yes. the yes. food. Yes, yes. And and break. Uh, you yeah. guys, you're gonna share this. And uh, yes, and then I'm going out to. I'm going okay. out to. Uh, okay, we're gonna <laughs> take a break now, and then we'll be back for part two.